for us, O Holy Mother of God, Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through this same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who, excuse me, hear our prayers, O oh Lord, so that what was promised by the sanctifying power of your word may everywhere be accomplished through the working of the gospel, and that all your adopted children may attain what the testimony of truth has foretold. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking, and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half, and taught the word of God among them. But when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews rose up together against Paul, and brought him to the tribunal, saying, this man is inducing people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Gallio spoke to the Jews. If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all seized Sosthenes, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal. But none of this was a concern of Gallio. Paul remained for, for quite some time. And after saying farewell, to his brothers, he sailed for Syria, together with Priscilla and Achilla. At Sintre, he had shaved his head because he had taken a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks. God is King of all the earth. God is King of all the earth. All you people clap your hands, shout to 
God with cries of gladness, for the Lord the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God is King of all the earth. He brings people under us, nations under our feet, he chooses us for our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God is King of all the earth. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blast. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the had to suffer and to rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, You will weep and mourn while the world rejoices, but you will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived, but when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish. But I will tell you, and I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Jesus One of my best priest friends is a priest in Oklahoma, and he, he always gives me a hard time. He says, Kutcher, you always evangelize your memories, and um, which is very true. I mean, it's, I look back and... and I, I just remember, I remember things with such joy. Like I look back and I'm like, yeah, that was pretty good, you know? And even the hard points that seemed difficult at the time, the types of things that, you know, used to keep me up at night or some things still keep me up at night. And, and, and I just like, but I look back and I'm like, you know, I, I'm filled with joy at looking back on it. And it's not unlike, you know, here St. John is talking about um, he likens it to a woman who's in labor or a woman who's pregnant and, and the woman looks back and, and even after birth, of course, she forgets the pain. She remembers that it wasn't fun probably, but at the same time, I've heard women tell me that they look back and they miss being pregnant. They miss having that child within them. There's something about having the baby growing within you, this, this two people in one two bodies together in such a powerful way and, and and I've heard that from multiple women who have had children that I just miss being pregnant the expectations the hopes the dreams the joys the connection all those sorts of things and they look back on it they don't remember the throwing up they don't remember the the avert my cousin told me that she uh, she said uh, lunch meat grossed her out for 
for her whole pregnancy, and then it was about three years before she could start eating lunch meat again. And she goes, it's just weird. But like, they don't think about those things. They think about the, the, all the fun things about. And I think that's true with life. We look back, and, and I look back at seminary. Tyler would appreciate, you know, a lot of those memories. And, and it doesn't always seem maybe fun at the time. But I remember Father Dennis, he used to say, the rector, he would say, you may not believe me, but you're going to look back on your seminary days with the affection of a child, of a, of a grown-up looking back on the playground days of, uh, of school. And I do. I look back at seminary and I think, man, that was paradise. And, and it was fun. It was, I knew it was fun at the time, but looking back, it was... And I think that's what we're hearing here in our gospel. Life is hard sometimes. And there's no doubting that. Feel, listen to what they endured in the first reading. Holy smokes with Paul and all that. And the fear that was gripping him and uh, all those sorts of things. And, but I bet you when Paul was an old man getting ready for his last breath, he was filled with joy. And think about King David, all the trials that that guy endured. And you know what, the, that Psalm 23, he wrote that one at the end of his life. And he summarized his life, my cup overflows. Well, he had a lot of hard parts of life too. He was not the favorite of his father. In fact, he was the least favorite. He had a grow, childhood growing up knowing that the father and loved all the other ones more. That must not have been fun. Think about all the trials and he endured as he was taking care of the animals and doing the other things that nobody else wanted to do that other his brothers didn't have to do because well, just let David do that job. You know, think of all the trials he endured as he was king. It's not fun to be a leader sometimes. And he was king and for so long. I mean, think about the hardships that that guy endured. But he looks back at his life and he says, my cup overflows. I think it's a healthy thing for us very often to just sit with Jesus and close our eyes and think about all the blessings. Think about all the blessings in the chapters of our life. My spiritual director, Father Joe, I had direction last night and um, it was real nice. And his penance, he always gives real good penances. I'm kind of boring. I just give three Hail Marys to almost everybody. Uh, but he, he says, do a litany, Michael. I want you to look back at all the priests that have been a part of your life from the very beginning. Your pastors growing up and the one that baptized you. and the, Your pastors at St. Charles growing up and the associate pastors. And, and pray in our Father for each one of them. He goes, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think about each one as you pray in our Father for him. And, and do a litany like that. And I think that's a good thing to do with the chapters of our life. Close our eyes and just thank God. There were stresses, there were problems. Sure there were. But there's a, where, where hardship abounds, grace abounds all the more. And so, uh, yeah, let's just be grateful. Uh, be grateful. And God does amazing things with gratitude. St. Ignatius of Loyola, he said that the origin of all sin is ingratitude. And um, when we forget what God has done for us, then we sin. But if we remember what God has done for us, we'll become saints. Let's stand for our prayers. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his intention, safety, and health, we pray to the Lord. We pray for our bishop as well. He has a hard, uh, a hard thing to deal with there sometimes, and so we pray for guidance and strength uh, in abundance upon him. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of our beautiful children who will soon be receiving their first Holy Communion. We pray that they will never, ever, ever, ever walk away from our Eucharistic Christ and that they will fall more deeply in love with the Eucharist every day of their life. We pray to the Lord. We pray for continued protection upon all of us, especially as we resume the beautiful, active life of our church. Pray that the good Lord will continue to watch out for us, keep us all healthy, happy, and holy. We pray to the Lord. 
We pray in gratitude for our seminarian, Tyler. We ask the good Lord to continue to bless him this summer and to uh, convict him of his vocation and make him a uh, holy priest one day. We pray to the Lord. We pray for Billy and for his fiance, Brittany, especially as they continue through their marriage preparation. And we pray for all couples that are engaged and preparing to enter into that vocation that they will continue to grow their love for each other in Christ every day. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all who are suffering, especially those who are sick in body, mind, or soul. Uh, we pray that the good Lord will continue to bless them and help those who take care of them. We pray to the Lord. For many more holy and good priests, and we pray that uh, the good that God will continue to call men forward and give them the courage, the strength to follow their vocation. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for all of our beloved dead who sleep in our Lord and all who are in purgatory. In this Mass, we remember in a special way Eleanor Fierich Hall, who is our intention. We pray to the Lord. Almighty God, we place these and all the prayers of our hearts, all the prayers of Holy Mother Church before you. We ask in your mercy that you answer these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice of yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what, you have what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But at this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every man, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holies. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessing and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us for Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I have not ordered that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us. 
safe for eternal life. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Hallelujah. The body of Christ. Is past our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity.
be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer. Salve, 